Hi everyone, this is Daisy. So, um, as you can see, um, this is a ring planner. Um, this is not my traveler's notebook that I'm usually in. Um, what happened was I changed out of my traveler's notebook back into a ring planner. I know it's, it's crazy. Um, I've gone back and forth between the traveler's notebook and a ring planner and somehow I always come back to a ring planner um, one for one reason, one reason or another. Anyways, um, I was having a really hard day at work the other day and I was just stressed and tired and you know for some reason I just got it in my mind to swap out everything from my traveler's notebook into my ring planner. And you know what? I am okay with it. I, it's working for me. I actually ended up doing something um, to help me plan. And um, I kind of did two inserts for myself. And um, like a weekly one and a daily one that I'll show you guys right now when I get into it. But yeah, craziness. Um, I left my traveler's notebook and I, I'm using it as a journal. So I haven't completely gotten rid of it. It just became my um, my journal um, slash um, like prayer um, traveler's notebook. So I'm keeping all the inserts that I'm using for prayer and stuff and then journaling. So it's just personal now. Um, so let me just get into this. I will not ramble on and give you a whole like reason on um, why, you know, what was going on. But I just went crazy that day and I swapped out of my traveler's notebook. Um, I do have other ring planners, which, you know, I have, luckily I always, I kept, I always have my, um, sorry, I kept my favorite ones. And so, um, this is one of my favorite ones. This, believe it or not, this planner goes back all the way to December of 2014. Um, I've had it for that long. It was one of my first planners that I purchased um, and as you can see it's actually pretty like brand new um, I've taken care of it you know I've used it and then I put it away and then I bring it back and this is you know just tossing it in my purse you know but I usually don't carry like loose keys in my purse so there's nothing really that can damage it um, before I used to put it in a little pouch to protect it and now I just grab it and toss it in my purse So it might get scratched now this time around because the, um, a while back when I used to use it um, I used to put it in a little pouch, but now I've just been like, you know what planners are meant to be Used they're gonna get scratched. They're gonna get beat up and it is what it is, right? So um, Let me show you what I have inside. So first of all, let me tell you what it is. It is a file of facts um, soft piano in the color poppy and it's a um, personal size planner so in here I don't have any cutesy stuff in here um, I don't know why I never usually do I just usually usually use this for um, functional things you know paper clips or whatever that I really need but um, I'm not really big on like putting stuff inside pockets unless I really feel like I'm gonna need it so um, in the back of here, I have the new June scripture writing plan from swtblessings.com. This is where I get my scripture my um, scripture plans from, and um, this is the one from June. This is the June one, and the topic is forgiveness. The one that I did last month, the May one, was um, all about um, fear and anxiety, and this is what it looks like. So this is the insert that I was using. This is from Any Plans. And I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but that's how I was using. I used her insert, the one that has the uh, one through 31, and it has like dated pages. That's what I used it for. And so um, that was fear and anxiety for me. So for this one, I'll be printing a new insert and use it for June, the new one. Um, so going back to this, this is my dashboard. This is from HN Illustrations. Um, if you've seen any of my previous, um, what's it called? Why can't I think of it right now? Um, oh yeah, if you've seen any of my previous ring planner setups, I've, I've mentioned these before. Um, she has a digital, um, well not digital, but you purchase the art print and she mails it to you. And so all I did was I just um, trimmed it a little bit for the sides and then I laminated it the 
print and put holes in it so I can use it as my dashboard. And that's it. So this is really pretty. I like how, I just like how she looks because she has the red lips and then the black, the white and the little black um, bow. And those are my three favorite colors. Um, so then in here I have just this little clear insert that came with the file of bags. And I attach one of those clear little pocket adhesive things. And I put my picture that I usually have in my planners, which is the hus my husband in the front and then us with our doggies in the back. And I like how this is, um, I don't want to put anything else in the back of it because that way I could, when I flip it, I can see through. And then this is just a sticker from the Planner Society and another sticker from Heidi Swap thing that I had. Um, so these dividers that you're going to be looking at, um, these are for Marlene's, Marlene's plans. I want to say I'm saying the name right, but I can't remember, but I will provide the link for you guys. So these were custom made dividers. Um, so all the things that you're going to see on them were custom um, made. She, um, I told her what quotes I wanted on each one and she did it for me. Now the tabs are black, but because um, the, the tabs, what they say, did not apply anymore. So I just covered them up and I made these little labels myself. And then I just put brain dump, calendar, and then I believe um, my bullet journal, my collections, family, and finances. So that's what I have in here. So um, the first one is my brain dump. This is a little um, clip from Lovely Scrolling on Etsy. And it's one of those magnetic. Um, it's not that strong, so I will not um, hold a lot of pages. I try to hold up, up to like seven, but it won't. Um, the strength is not that. Um, good. It's really cute, but um, it, it won't hold a lot of paper, so I just put it right here in the front. So, um, my brain dump, this is where, this is an answer from any Plans Printables. Now, let me tell you, when I transferred, when I went from Traveler's Notebook to Rings, a lot of the inserts were already written in, and um, I did not want to re rewrite things. I believe in, you know, um, if it's already done, just try to use it. So, what I did is I trimmed it. I trimmed my inserts and I punched holes and that's how I just transferred it over. So this is my brain dump insert that I had. And then so um, here is my Tama River paper insert that I had and I cut and I punched holes in it. So this is what I'm using for um, my brain dump. Then the second section is my calendar. And this was already in my ring planner. And um, I left it in, in the ring planner. Um, along with my other stuff so all, all I did was just you know um, I left it in there so it was already in here um, this calendar was already in here because I originally started in the ring planner at the beginning of the year so um, I had this already and everything applied so I left it as is and then I just added some stuff and then my husband's um, you know work days and stuff this is a Filofax ruler so I'm just keeping it here to um, to kind of like um, see where I have the month at. It's just to hold the place for the month. And then, so I have all the months all the way to December. And these little tabs are from the Martha Stewart um, Avery collection. I got them on Amazon. The next section is my bullet journal. Oh, okay, never mind. let me go back a little. So in here is that Annie Plans printables. The calendar is also from Annie Plans printables. Um, this is a fold out one that she had. She doesn't have it available right now. I don't think she does. I was looking, but I couldn't see it. So this is the fold out yearly. And this is what I use to track like my crowns and stuff like that. All the womanly fun stuff, right? So my bullet journal is here. And um, I have, let's see what do I have. So I have my key here. And then I have my, in the back I have this, um, it's kind of like this, um, these little steps or guidelines for planning and planning more effectively. I've had this for a while. Um, all I do is put it on the Project Life card, my key that I print on um, printable paper, sticker, sticker sheet paper. And then I have this also. And um, what else? I got this from different places. So this is not something you'll find. I looked on bulletjournal.com and boholberry.com and I got the ideas that I applied to me or that I wanted to um, use. And then I just created this little um, insert, not insert, but I created this little outline. And then here is a bullet journal outline. This is kind of, um, 
a bullet journal outline and it tells you the parts of the bullet journal and what each one um, represents. So then here is one of those um, Philo, not Philofax, but um, is it a Philofax one? I think it is. It's a Philofax um, three card insert thing, um, organizer, and it has three pockets in the front and three pockets in the back. So what I have here are my most used Dear Lily stencils. And then I have an Ollie clip, which is what I'm holding my pen with because uh, the little loop here, it's too small. And it, I, I think only a Pilot G2 might fit in there. I haven't tried it, but I really like the Coletto and it doesn't fit in there and I still want to use it. So I figured I would just use a little Ollie clip to hold it in place. And it's holding, um, it's in the very top and I can move it around if I have to. So I just have it there. Then um, here's a bullet journal that I was using um, in my traveler's notebook. And it just says April 2017 to obviously May because that's not going to continue other than that. And then I just have this. And then I have my weekly planning and my future log. And these are all like my plans. And now um, this is all my weekly planning that I did in my bullet journal. And this is the Tomo River paper. That's why if it makes that sound, it's because of the paper. Now, here's where we get to the little fun part. So, I got to Friday, and um, then I realized that, you know, I kind of wanted to play with the daily, but then I like the weekly. So, I figured if I could find a daily that would be functional and would help me with my daily planning then I could totally use it. Now I was using an Annie Plans printable daily insert which I was really liking and um, it helped a lot but I wanted something more like um, I don't know structured something that would help me plan better so um, here it goes. So this little insert um, I did myself. I put morning, afternoon, and evening so I could break down my day into three different sections. And then I put to do, meals, and habit tracking. Because um, I had mentioned before that if I have my trackers separate from my daily or weekly planning, I will not follow through with it. So that's why I have this part here. Now, when I make this insert um, and I print it double sided, you know, the other side, I realized that on the to do side, it was when I punched the holes, it was going to kind of cut through there. So um, when I made the new ones, I fixed that and I'll show you guys. So this is Friday, Saturday. I think I only did Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then I realized, and then here's a back, see? And on, on the to do, and it has it has the holes, which is kind of bugging me a little. So um, for the following week, which is this week, um, I created this Monday through Friday insert um, week on one page. And I just put Monday through Friday. Friday and then I put notes at the bottom the reason for this is that this will always be work related stuff and I only work Monday through Friday so I don't need that much space and I don't really do planning in here it was more like you know my little to do's and little reminders and stuff and um, you know here I'm tracking down how many days are left and then things that I need to remember to do so uh, this one was work purpose then here on this side um, here's my insert that I showed you guys the daily one day on one page and it was pretty easy to do guys um you know what you don't be scared to try out to do your own inserts if the inserts that you have right now are not working for you I'm um, sorry um if they're not working for you you know play around with word create some documents yes it takes a little trial and error yes I messed up a couple of pages and had to print double-sided and then you know just sometimes that didn't work so I have to print it one side and then flip it over so eventually it turned out you know and I like what I did so um, all I did was I used the word and I made sure that the, the sizing was correct and that was it you know I just tried it out until I liked it so um, for this one for the new ones I fixed it so that there's a morning afternoon and evening so everything's the same except that um, when you flip it over the to do is on the opposite side so that way it doesn't the holes don't punch into it I don't mind if it's in the morning afternoon and evening that the holes are into it as long as my to do's and um, this section right here um, has plenty of space that I need so that's what I did and I printed enough for the rest of the week so I have Monday Tuesday all the way through Sunday and then I chose on Sunday to just leave it blank 
because I don't really need to have an, another side to this. So some of them I printed on the blank side and then some of them I printed front to back. And then this is just a little stamp from um, Miss Kim Creates stamp set. And um, let's see, this is my writing right here. And then these are little stamp stickers that I believe I've mentioned how to do. But um, these are my little sticker um, stamp stickers that I've made. These are using Studio to e There's a tutorial on, um, I made a tutorial on how to do it. And this is how I store them. It's just one of those Michaels, um, maybe like $2 photo al mini photo albums. And I keep them in here and then I throw this in my purse in case I need it. It's really lightweight. It doesn't weigh that at all. So that's what I use. The little stickers here. Um, I use those right here. So this one right here. And then this one is a sticker. This one I drew. The panda I drew. Then this I drew. And this is a sticker. So these two. And this one is a sticker. And then on the bottom here I stamped it. I stamped one of those um, hydrate stamps. So that way I don't have to keep drawing it out each day. And I just put it. I stamped at the bottom of the habit tracking and that's pretty much it and that's how my planning is going to go and um, so far I'm really liking it's helping me plan better so I'm really excited about that here are my lists this is a free printable from viennaortizplans.com different list suggestions that you should keep um, that you can keep on hand here is my list insert from any plans printables I just cut um, cut the insert punch the holes and transferred it over here are my, here's my family. Here are some tabs that I had gotten from, oop, sorry. I keep moving this thing. My Paper Love Studio, one section is for me where I'm gonna put personal information. One is for my hubby. I printed one of those um, Peanuts Planner Co. foldable calendar where I'm gonna track uh, when he goes, um, like when he goes climbing because that also helps me with my planning. That when he goes climbing, then I know that I um, I have like planner time or I have think time to do other stuff. Here's a section for my doggies where I track their shots. Um, a section for my parents. Then here is my finances and here's my bills insertion. And then these monthly inserts are from Any Plants Printables and this is how they look. This is how they look, April. And then I have a debt repayment, which I don't want to show you guys. Personal info. Let me see if I can. This is what it looks like, blank. Debt. And then there's a the debt repayment plan and then the savings tracker. And then the back, I have this divider that I had made from this print that I bought on Etsy. It just says she confidently trusts the Lord to take care of her. I found that on Etsy or Pinterest, one of those. And then here, I just wrote down my favorite verses. Um, and it says when you start to worry pray it's also good as a page lifter um, this is a planner insert comparison it gives you different sizes for different types of planners then in the back here I have one of those um, ruler dashboards that I can if I need to write on here then I can um, if I need to write on here um, I can just put it under the sheet and it'll write straight and it fits perfectly in here and um, let me see did I forget to mention anything else oh yeah so going back to my weekly planning um, what, what I really like to do sorry if I keep moving this what I really like to do is if you I don't know I didn't I don't know if I didn't mention it but um, I cut slits on all my inserts especially the ones that I know I'm gonna be re removing or needing to remove or use a lot I cut in um, little slits can you see that with little scissors and so it makes it easier for me to put it in, take it out, and move it around if I have to. So um, once I'm done with um, with the month and I just pull it out, but um, what I do weekly is I pull out the inserts and then I um, put my Erin Condren here and then I just write down the information. It might not look exactly the same because in my Erin Condren I use a lot more colorful stickers and I decorate more and use washi, but... Um, What's it called? So um, this is more like my on the go. This is my everyday carry and my Erin Condren stays at home like I've mentioned before. Um, it's more personal, it has pictures and it's more for like decor. This is my functional on the go planning. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, this little setup explanation of why I'm using rings again. Um, um, thank you for following me if you're, follow if you're a follower. If you're new, thank you for um, joining my YouTube channel. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram name is the same as my YouTube name. Follow me there. I constantly post pictures. 
updates, little um, peeks into my weekly planning. I put pictures of my Erin Condren and how that looks like. Um, all sorts of goodies go into my planner. Um, my Instagram account, which I check on daily or post like daily or weekly. Um, but um, I pop into Instagram a lot more than I actually do YouTube, okay? So thank you for following me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.